Hey guys, this is iMaster, and today I'm going to be talking to you about three free applications for the Mac that have become virtually essential in my everyday Mac usage. The first one I'm going to go over is AppFresh. AppFresh scans all of your applications and checks them for updates. So instead of having to go to your Apple software update for all of your Apple updates and to each individual app application for its updates, you can just launch this one application and it will scan all your applications, whether it's an just normal application, a plugin, a widget, a preference pane, system update, whatever. It can update them. Now, a brief uh, look into the preferences. We have general, which can check for updates at startup, which, I mean, you should probably keep checked because why wouldn't you? Check for available Apple updates. You can choose where to download them to, download the updates. Uh, whether or not you want to skip downloads that need web based locating, which would mean telling it where to download the update from. Unpack downloaded files, which would, which is the equivalent of unzipping zip files and install updates if considered safe. You can also choose applications to include or exclude and if you have an I use this account you can use that here. Second application I want to go over with you is called Shadow. Now Shadow is a really useful program that that replaces, not replaces, but is an alternative to your system clipboard, which, yeah, it really does replace your system clipboard. So what it does is normally you only have one clipboard. You can copy something, paste it, copy something different, paste it. You can't store multiple things in your clipboard, but with Shadow, you can. So instead of having to go to a website, copying something, say for a term paper or something, I don't know, copying something and then pasting it back in your paper you can and then going back copy going back pasting you can just copy everything then paste everything no tabbing back and forth between you know whatever safari and pages or word or whatever it's a really really handy program you um some of the features it doesn't really have a preferences i mean it does but it's just basic stuff. Which color you want to highlight things with, show usage tips, show on startup, show text items, format it if possible, which would be like coloring them bold, italicized, etc. Hide after storing an item to the system clipboard and copy into the selected clipboards because with Shadow you can have multiple clipboards. Another cool feature of Shadow is that you can share your clipboard over your network. So if you have a computer in two computers in two different rooms, they can share the same clipboard. Um, so that's that's a really neat feature. It has a shortcut to show Shadow, but sadly not to hide it. Um, as you can see, I just clicked the little pencil which makes a new clipboard so you can enter your name share your clipboard or password protected whichever and that's shadow so the only update that I really wish it had would be a shortcut to hide shadow the third application that I want to show you is called caffeine what caffeine does is it prevents your Mac from falling asleep this is good for movie watchers or YouTube video addicts who just watch videos all the time, but they have to move their mouse because their monitor keeps falling asleep. To activate caffeine, which looks like this, this icon right here, it's in your menu bar. You just click the coffee mug, and it fills up, and steam is coming out of the cup now. So now, no matter how long my mouse stays in that exact same place, my screen will not dim. Now, to get into Caffeine's preferences, you hold Command and click, and you can go to Preferences, and it tells you hold down Command key when clicking the menu bar icon to show the Caffeine menu, right? 
you can choose to automatically start caffeine at login um, and to show this message when starting caffeine. Now I'm going to close this and command click again and you can choose to activate indefinitely which is for as long as you turn it off or for a set amount of time. Now this is for those of us who are forgetful and may forget to turn caffeine off. So you can set it for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, depending on how long, whatever it is you're doing, it will take. So it's a very nice program. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, these three Mac apps, hopefully one of them, will be of some use to you. I will post links in the description for all three of them. And leave me a comment below. Tell me about some great free apps. Mac application that you found, or one that's not free. I will never deny a good free Mac application that's worth checking out. So leave a comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye.